Find this DVD player in the street. It's just a cheap government's DVD player. Um, I'm just going to show you exactly what's inside it and exactly what's worth salvaging. I'm going to take the lid off now. I've already taken the screws out, so we'll take the lid off. So you'll see, there's not really a lot inside the DVD player. However, there are a couple of quite useful things. This circuit board here is the power supply for the DVD player. Now, this power supply has a plus 12 volt rail, a minus 12 volt rail, a plus 5 volt rail, and a plus 4 volt rail. Now, you could take this whole circuit board out of the DVD player and you've got a 24 volt power supply there by using the minus 12 volts and the plus 12 volt power supply connections on this board you've got a 24 volt power supply perfect for something like an amplifier um, there's a fuse on there there's also some uh, ferrite toroid perfect for making homemade toroidal coils or toroidal transformers and obviously you've got uh, four RCA connectors on the back here five if you include that one a scart socket and then there's this circuit board here which is full of ferrite beads and transistors and some useful capacitors too so Obviously there's a power switch. Now the actual DVD drive is not really worth keeping. However, um, there are some stepper motors inside it. Same as there would be in a DVD drive in a computer. We'll take a closer look at each board now. As I said earlier, this is the power board. If you didn't want to uh, use this power board as a power supply, you could always strip the uh, inductor coils there's a little inductor coil there, a couple more surface mount inductor coils there, those green things. We've got the capacitors, uh, the fuse holder on the right hand side there, that's the little greeny blue thing. Some diodes, useful connectors, more useful connectors there. Opto couplers, transistors, um, a great big diode there, a few resistors and capacitors now, I haven't actually checked what that chip is there but it is a Philips TEA12 sorry 1523P now I would have thought it's uh, some kind of switch mode power supply driver chip and then we've got this board here this is the uh, board that deals with the DVD drive and there'll be all sorts of DVD driver chips on there, four and five channel driver chips. But uh, as I said before, there's all these ferrite beads. Um, I'm not quite sure what that one is there. It's either a voltage regulator or a transistor, one of the two. Again, more transistors, more surface mount inductor coils. So although this may look like junk, there's actually quite a few things in there that are worth salvaging. The one thing that's worth salvaging the most to me is the power board. That'll be perfect for driving an amplifier, or you could use it in conjunction with the LM317 to make a variable voltage power supply. There's a bank of four RCA connectors there and a single one there, uh, an S-video connector and a SCART socket all of those could be repurposed the next time you see a DVD player or anything like that out in the street remember there is a whole wealth of parts inside that you can use for other things so I've removed the power board and as you can see We've got plus 5 volts ground, plus 12 volts in the ground, plus 12 volts ground and minus 12 volts 
Everton. There was also the option of rhyming a second row up there and a third row. This is minus 21 bolts and a ground. Um, now you'd have to follow the traces on the back and just make sure all the components and etc were there to get the minus 21 bolts. But in essence, there's a 24 volt power supply there. Now this DVD player has also got an LCD screen and one, two, three, four, five momentary push switches, an infrared receiver, an LED. Now you could always repurpose this LCD screen. No doubt if I desoldered that, I'd be able to find a data sheet or uh, by sending five volts to any of those pins, I'm sure we could make something light up on there. And then we've also got two more momentary push switches and another LED there. So it just goes to show one man's trash is another man's treasure. There's almost always something to salvage out of this discarded electronic equipment. Without things like these RCA connectors, I wouldn't have been able to build my power supply. Interboard connectors like that, if you desolder them, they come in very handy. All the capacitors. I even think there's some uh, RAM on this board here. So all these boards I'll keep. I'll put them in my electronics components parts box and hopefully I can repurpose some of them, if not all of them, into some of my electronics projects. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of my latest video and I'll see you again next time.